With two months out now from the beginning of May, when breeding season will start in earnest, with over 80% of suckler cows mated naturally, one of the things that farmers could do now is to get a bull breeding soundness evaluation carried out by their vet. I'm going to be joined later today by my local vet, Kieran Marley, to carry out this task. Joined today with uh, Kieran Marley, veterinary practitioner with uh, Mulroy Veterinary, and we're going to carry out a, a pre breeding inspection on a young bull here. And we might just have a quick look at the body condition score. So uh, we can see here this animal is actually in good condition. He's got a nice covering over the ribs and uh, around the tape right there. He's just um, perfect for breeding. Probably body condition score of four. Um, you don't want him too fat for the really easy about the breeding, and you don't want him too thin either. So he's got a good, nice cover for his age. The uh, bull is about 18 months old, which hopefully we'll get a good sample today. Younger bulls sometimes can be a bit more difficult to get a sample, um, and they might need to be probed twice to get a sample. Um, but no, this bull is mature enough. He's right now. That's totally normal. The temperature's fine. 38. Right, so we're just going to look there at his teeth, his dental alignment, and you can see there he's not overshot, he's not undershot, he's just perfectly aligned. Okay, so we're just after um, examining his testicles there, and I, you just have a good feel of the testicle itself and the epididymis. The epididymis is where the semen is stored, the testes is where the semen is made. So both of those are fine in both testicles, and his testicles. Uh, Measurement was 32 centimeters, which is just perfect for his age. I'm just going to go now in his eyes, then pull in the prostate, and um, hopefully, once we start to see a drip, we'll start to collect and see the semen just a um, left jack later. After um, the kitten uh, pulley on my, on my hand and his rectum there, and I'm just putting a bit of pressure and giving it a rub and circular motions just to stimulate him. Uh, so you can feel them pulley, the seminal vesicles and the prostate, so I'm just getting a rub on, on all of them. Um, an experienced operator can actually get a, a semen sample by massaging alone for a for need two or three minutes. But um, you will get a better sample with the electrode ejaculator. As well as that, if you, if you do stimulate them rectally, you'll get a better sample as well. So it's important just to, to give them a good rub for about two or three minutes, just to start to see a bit of dripping from the prepuce. And at that point then, our bull probably should be starting to put his penis out there now. Or <laughs> um, and at that point then, we'll just put the electro jack leader in and uh, start to probe. Um, so we just want this here pointing down towards the prostate and then pulley. Um, so we'll just lift the tail. Uh, after massaging them and stuff with my hand, it should go in a bit easier now. Um, and the hope the tail should hold it once he accepts it into him and tightens up a bit. Okay, so we can get a little bit of uh, pre ejaculatory fluid coming down here on the hairs. Um, some bulls will produce the, protrude the penis, not all bulls do. Um, I'm expecting him today to do that. Um, we won't collect it at the start because a lot of time there's no sperm sample there. And what it'll do, it'll just actually dilute our, our sperm sample. So we'll let the first couple of drops or a couple of mils uh, go to the floor. And after that, then we'll uh, start to collect it. Um, it'll just mean that we'll have a denser sample for the, for the microscope. Uh, so we're just going to put on the probe now. This is our electro ejaculator, our pulsator. And uh, we've already got a program saved here. So we're just going to go on the program to one and press start. And it's started there now. All right, so he's uh, dripped there now for a couple of drops there. So I'm just going to start collecting from now on. He hasn't protruded the penis yet, but just in case he would start to ejaculate before he protrudes it, I'm going to start collecting. So here we got the, the penis fully protruded out. We can see the very end of the penis itself. You can see him ejaculating there now. Um, so there's no growth or any defects in that penis. That penis is totally normal. And he's giving us a good sample there now as well. Um, 
and see anything, it's just wee, just wee bit contaminated. Uh, but it's fine that we're not going taking any straws or anything from this sample, so it's okay. Uh, for examination purposes, we'll be fine. Um, Sorry. We've got a sample here now. Um, now, the fact that there's a, the hair there was a little bit dirty, the bulbs inside. Um, we've got a little bit of dirt just through it, but we've put it on this on the on the slide here now, uh, on this heated slide, and um, I really haven't looked at it. But we'll just put another drop of that there now, um, and we've got a great motility there. So he is actually a grade five. Um, I'll just have a look at it there. Um, yeah, we've got a great mortality there. Yeah, this, the volume is probably about four or five mils, which is normal. Um, of actually semen because we, we've let the, the pre ejaculate fluid go to the ground, so we just got a denser sample. So we, get the um, we will be saving one here for for morphology. So the way we do that is uh, a slide here now, one of these, and we're getting this tiny drop. Put half a drop on it. We will put in a half a drop of the dye on top of it. <coughs> themselves there, and you just get the end of another slide, and we just do a smear. So we just get the mix, and then you just give it a pull down the slide like that, and we can do it to another slide as well. So there we go, we have it there now on a, on a slide, so we've got a spear. This will be waited to be dried out, to be air dried. We'll put a drop of immersion oil when that is dried out and examine it under a higher magnification. And that way we'll do a sperm count, so we'll get the number of normal sperm on the slide and, and count them out of 100, how many normal ones we have, and any defective ones that we have. And he'll, he could still fail. This bull could have perfect motility, like grade 5 motility, but... Um, He's probably, if, if, if there was any problem with the sperm, if there was a bigger proportion of normal of defects, we'd have to fail him on that. So, um, hopefully, hopefully it'll be fine because he's perfect on the, on the motility. Uh, so that's our bull test done. Uh, cert here. Uh, this is from uh, Veterinary Ireland. We just edited it for ourselves, for Mulroy Veterinary. And we'll just put in the owner's details, the date of the, the exam, the bull details, such as the tag number and the breed and his age. Uh, we'll put in his body condition score. We can weigh him. We have a weigh scale here. We'll, we'll probably weigh him here today. Um, and then you'll just go through between the uh, hearts, eyes, incisors, uh, external genitalia, and internal accessory glands, and the measurements. Uh, and and that'll be one. That'll be the physical exam. The second part then will be the semen examination, which will be collected. Um, our semen sample today. You can get it either watery, creamy, uh, or milky. Um, today it was probably creamy but a bit, a bit dirty because of the, the bit of dung attached to the hairs on the, around the prepuce. Um, the gross motility, at, he was a 5 out of 5. Uh, the progressive motility was probably about 90-95%. And we haven't checked the morphology yet but whenever our slide dries up we'll get a look at that and hopefully he'll pass on that. Um, and after we let the, the bull out of the crush here we'll have a look, we'll have a look on his feet and uh, make sure that he's walking okay on all four. He doesn't appear to have any growth in between the, the feet or that. Um, and on overall appearance, both on the semen and physical appearance of the bull, he'll, he'll be passing flying colors.